So Andy, I hear there's some interesting new features in Dynamics Nav 2018 around managing invoices. That's correct, George. There's uh, two things that you can do. The first is to um, be able to pick a mixer from a selection of an invoice list. Um, and the second is around correcting job posted invoices. Okay, so let's first take a look at the sales invoice processing. By the way, this also works on the purchase order invoice list. Previously, you could, um, when you post, you could post just one invoice, the one selected, or all of them. But now we have the opportunity to select individual invoices from the list by clicking on the first one and then holding the control key down, select further invoices as you wish, like this. So I have now three. If I then press the post button, I'll get a confirmation message to say that three out of seven invoices were selected. If you press yes, it will carry on with the posting process as normal. If you select no, you have the opportunity to go back and correct your selection. In this case, I'll hold the control key down and deselect the one for the Deerfield Co Graphics Company and then press, press the post button again. This time I'll confirm that I want to go ahead and it will go through the process of posting those two invoices. Get a confirmation as normal that the documents were posted and they'll be removed from the list. We'll now take a look at the ability to reverse a job posted invoice, a little easier than it was before. In this case, I'll go back to the role center and from here, I'll go into the jobs list. I have two jobs currently set up. I can navigate through to the invoices and the credit memos from the list. If I open this invoice, I can see what was posted on there. If this is incorrect, I have the ability now, by one click of a button, to create a corrective memo. If I click on that, it will create the memo for me by copying the lines. I then can then follow that through and post that memo. It will then give me a confirmation of the posted memo. If I then go back to the customer's record, from here I can go into the job itself and look at the customer record. I can navigate through to the posted invoices and the credit memos. And I can view that from here as well. Okay, so there's one more thing I'd like to, to show you, and this is the ability to update the vendor address details or the customer address details from within a sales or purchase document. This is controlled by the My Notifications settings. There are an additional four settings here. Amongst others, there are four that, that relate to this particular feature where you can update the bill to customer address, the buy from address, the pay to vendor address, and the sell to customer address by enabling or disabling on this list. And we'll come back to this later because this can get updated automatically depending on what options the user chooses during the processing of the document. So in this case I'm going to look at changing the customer address for the Canon Group. So I'm going to create a new sales order here and choose their customer record. Now supposing that during the processing of this order the customer tells you that they have moved 
um, or that we've got an error within our data and we need to correct it. We can do this directly on the sales order. So for example, in here at the moment they're 192 market square and they're on stall 3. If we've made a mistake and that should be stall 33, I can correct it here and I'm because the notification is enabled, I get an option to update this address. If I update the address, I can see the changes that I'm potentially going to be making back to this customer record and confirm OK on there. That will then change that customer's record in the background. I can show you that by minimizing this screen and going through to that customer record. I can now see that their address here has changed to stall 33. Now, supposing that um, we didn't want these notifications. Now, if you look at the sales orders again, and this time I make a change to the address, but I wish to turn the notifications off. This is an old order, so the, uh, the address is different. So I change it to stall 34. I get the notification again, but if this time if I choose the option to don't show this again, two things will happen. First of all, the address won't be updated on the customer record, but also the notification will be turned off permanently. So now if I go back to my notifications, I can see that the one for the update sell to customer address is now not enabled. I could easily come back in to here and re-enable it if I wished to, but it is worth noting that if the user changes or selects that option to don't show again, it is a permanent thing. It's not anything to do directly with that particular document that you're on. It will turn the feature off. You'll need to come back in here to turn it back on again.